Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Paul Clement is gone. Hallelujah! Welcome back, everybody, to Swansea Beat. My name is Dustin Rubio. I'm Alex Thomas. And thank you for watching this. If you can subscribe on our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, at Swansea Beat, and on Facebook, give us a like, give us a share, leave a comment. If you agree, disagree, yeah. anything like that. We need 200 likes on Facebook now. Almost, yeah. That's yes. pretty cool. Yep, so thanks for all the support. Right. He's gone. He is gone. This is the reaction video yeah. of Paul Clement being sacked. Of all the time in three, three hours after our recording of us abusing him. Yeah, I know. It was, it was abuse. I went on like a three minute rant, you know, about, about him and yeah. then how he should be gone. And he was gone three hours later, yeah. which was crazy. So what's your initial reaction? I actually was with you when we found out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think after settling down, I think it, it's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Mm. The good thing is that it, it, maybe we can have a turn of luck now. Yeah. But the bad thing is the timing. Yeah. Like... Um, I think why now is the big thing. Mm. Like, why couldn't it be done like ten games ago or like eight games ago? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know, you in the early stages of, oh, he needs to be sacked. Yeah. But you know, I'm we'll just give, gonna read out a tweet. Go ahead. We'll give a, you know, we'll make it happen, sort of thing. Now yeah. they say, oh, we give him a second chance, and you know, we, we kept losing and losing and losing. And then all of a sudden, just before Christmas, just before the January transfer mm. window, you're sacking him, and you're not going to give a manager a time to come in look at the players and look at what we need in transfer wise yep I think that's the big problem you know I'm glad he's gone but the timing has to be better because this is yeah. three years in a row now yeah, where a yeah. manager's been sacked in December yeah and as you said look there's this tweet I saw uh, somebody tweet out it says there's no coincidence in the December sackings they come at just the right time for the new manager to be unable to form an opinion on the squad allowing Jenkins to step in and make the signings same stuff different year Hashtag back to a jack. It's annoying. You know, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing at the same time. I'd say it's mostly a bad thing mm. because even though we've said for a long time, we said, oh, you know, we could stay up with a new manager. It's going to be a heck of a job for that manager coming in, whoever it is, mm. coming in, looking at the squad and within like a month, know his best squad and know yeah. what he needs. Like I can just see us doing last minute business in January again, yeah. Yeah. which is going to really hurt us in our yeah. chances of staying up, in my opinion. Yeah, and I think, uh, like with the tweet um, person who wrote that, I think it will. I think it will be Jenkins, you know, the director of football, yeah. you know, for the club, will will um, make some signings. And, and, you know, we have this kind of track record of going back to players we've already been around yeah. with, you know. So hopefully um, we don't get Edder or anything like that. Edder. But shout out to him. It's his birthday yes. <laughs> today. No um, highlights with us, but with Portugal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, for real. He wins, he wins the Euros with him. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, I think my reaction is uh, now, I guess, uh, initially was, yeah. you know, sweet, good, nice. But now I think it's, it's bittersweet. Mm -hmm. And I think for all the reasons you said just now of, of the timing mm -hmm. is not great. I think yeah. it's sweet as in, look, change is happening. And I, yeah. I went on the rant and I don't want to yeah, go back yeah, on yeah. that. You can watch the previous video if you haven't seen that. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, look, it's done. Yeah. I think we, we, we have to... Um, you know, start performing. I think, I think it's something. The reason why I wanted him gone, because I think there there's this trend of players. I think it, I think people are going to start seeing a lot more if we haven't seen already. Where yeah. players don't want to play for a manager, and it yeah. might be a top manager. I mean, we've seen that with with clubs before. And it's like you know, like I said before, lose the dressing room. You know, you're not going to get your performances. You're not going to get results. And I felt like that's where we were at. He's gone. Let's get on with it. So we have a new, we have a caretaker. And yes. it's not what I thought at Leon. all. I did not expect that. I'm not against it, but I didn't expect it. I thought for sure it was going to be my honorable mention uh, of, of best manager ever would have been Alan Curtis. Um, I think we, I, the only reason I saw it coming is because when he took on that player coach role, I was like, oh, okay, he's going to be assistant coach. And I, I had a feeling he would eventually mm. take that sort of caretaker role because you don't really see Curtis that much these days. Yeah. So I'm just like, oh, okay, it doesn't... This, you know, it's one game. Oh, well, hopefully it's just one game, but I can see yeah. him taking charge in the Liverpool game as well, honestly. Yeah, um, yeah I, I think there's a debate, like, you know, I'd rather Curtis in, I'd, no, Leon, like, 
I'm happy for Leon to take the role, but the one thing I do not want is him. It sounds bad. I don't want him getting results, then being offered the job, taking it, and it'd be yeah. a monk thing all over again, yeah, yeah, yeah. where a legend is treated disrespectfully, yeah. and then sacked, and then he's just off the face of the swans. Yeah. It's like he's gone, and everyone forgets who he is. And that's the one thing I don't want to happen to him. You know, He's too good of a player, too much of a nice guy to actually... Mm do that so I'd rather yeah. be able to stay in his coaching role and I think I, I thought I saw an article of him saying he didn't want it you know mm. which probably yeah, for those I reasons that, yeah. I think especially when a player is much older and his, his you know his roots mm. are here you know he goes to a coffee shop by my house yeah. you know all the time you know he's there um, you know he, he's lived in the, in the same area for a while since he came back to Swans mm. um, you know his kids are probably in school and you know he's around you see yeah. him around you know he's not like this big celebrity where yeah. he's being chased High and hunted down it, yeah. yeah yeah he is around his roots are here and and it would be a shame if he took it and yeah. and too soon and you know Get it doesn't work out yeah. you know like monk but but yeah so what's the short list looking like now um uh, i think people are saying favorites at the moment is slavin bilic yeah and frank de boyer Mm. Um, you hear little rumors here and there. Obviously, you were telling me earlier you heard a ridiculous rumor about Louis Van Hal yeah, coming in online. Yeah, pray yeah. that never happens. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and everyone's been like, I've had a few people say Marcelo Bielsa. Like, people don't know mm. much about him, but like, um, for those who don't know, he's pretty much Pep and Pochettino's like you know father figure in football, mm. as they would say. Oh, he's a genius and all that. Which, you know, I think he's a bit of a risk if we went for him because he is completely different style to what we play at the moment um, yeah, we but, don't really need but, that now but to be honest everyone is a risk I look at Bilic I'm like what, what is he going to bring exactly and you know what is De Boyer going to bring like what's going to work here that didn't to Crystal Palace that, that's my opinion on De Boyer mm. at the moment like what would he bring yeah um, obviously Tony Pulis is a f- like a fan's favourite what fan- I think a lot of fans want Tony Pulis in I mm. guess that's controversial but what would be th- controversial about that? he's a Cardiff fan oh yeah, yeah that would like, be the only yeah but the Swans fans some yeah. diehard Swans fans are like no he's Cardiff yeah. you know that's some Swans fans yeah for you. I mean I mean I get that look I, I would rather have a Cardiff fan come in and save us and yeah. we be Premier League. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I would rather that and then if Cardiff make it up, you know, mm. out of the championship to, and we could have, you know, we yeah. could have a derby game yeah. rather than us being in the championship. The they're up there and, you know, I any day of the week, I, I would rather yeah. have him. And, and, he's, and he's, you know, he's, he's tried and tested. He did mm. that with um, Crystal Palace, remember, mm. a few years ago. Wasn't he uh, manager of the year? manager of the season and it was because he came in and they were like 11 games of results mm. um yeah but yeah it was at the end of the transfer list i know Giggs ruled yeah. himself out coman coman ruled himself coman, out how you pronounce it um, yeah there's a few people that's not interested but that i don't think i'm shocking when you think of the position we're in at the moment yeah. and the timing is just not yeah. good I really hope we get a proper manager in now. I really yeah. hope it doesn't go down to Britain or Curtis. Honestly, I really don't want it to go down to that. Yeah. So, we'll see what happens. For me, I would prefer either Bielsa or Pulis to come in. Yeah. Well, who would you want to come in? Uh, I think you've said this before. Yeah, I think but... I, I would go Pulis just purely on his experience mm. of you know, getting teams to fight. And mm-hmm. I think it's kind of like what we've seen with, with, you know, Pardue. And I know he's just been in there for a few weeks and he hasn't got yeah, it yet. Yeah, but yeah. I, I, I'm I confident that he will get West Brom yeah. getting some results, which is scary for us. Um, you know, you're seeing it with Roy. You're seeing it with Big Sam. And I think that's the sort of manager that yeah. Pulis is. And I think that's what we need now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I think, and I don't want a contract. I don't want a year contract and like Six that. I want, I want to the end of the season because they might. That might be more appealing for them because yeah. they might not want to be. In case we go down, they might not want to be attached to yeah, us. You yeah, know yeah. that way. But I think we just need to get our best foot forward and go out swinging and get as many results yeah. as we can. And and I think we need a, a guy to come in, organize yeah. us, and get us get us playing. So moving on to the final point, with a new manager coming in, do you see us staying up still? Um. Ooh, I I would say I know this seems like a cop out, but I'd say it is fifty fifty. I feel like there's a lot of variables involved 
with that question or my answer to that question because I feel like yeah. our signings, what kind of signings we make in yeah. January is a big one. I mean, I think we need we need a striker. I yeah. think Abraham, you know, I think I'm thankful for his what three goals. <laughs> you know, not many. You know, yeah. and I know he's young, but we can't afford that. You know, um, and then Boney is just injured you know and, and he's not out for too long that's the no thing. but he could come back and who knows yeah uh, that injury you know but i would say it depends on the signings and yeah. the manager there's just a lot of different things so i would say 50 50 okay but, uh my answer it sounds negative but no uh, it sounds what hard. survivor you don't think no i don't think they'll survive really it i can see us like you say go out swinging i think we will actually get results and actually bring it down to the final day but i just can't see us having Mm. the quality of players and just I don't know I think there's too many good teams above us at the moment to actually yeah. keep us up at the moment so and I heard somebody say it like this they said there is no um, there isn't three worse teams than us this yeah. season yeah. we're in pre you know prior seasons yeah. you know previous seasons there, there, there was always three worse yeah. teams than us um, where I, I would say this I think I feel um, uh, less sure that we'll go down like yeah. I, since that change yeah i think now if we would have kept with paul i would have been like yeah we're going we're a sinking ship yeah. but now that there's change i feel like there's a bit of hope yeah i mean it look it could all just blow up in our faces and we kind of go down and yeah. it's just really bad but another thing you know with this and this might be something we talk about maybe in another episode but i saw today that west ham are looking at moss and alfie yeah uh, apparently swap deal with are you that's what really? I've heard. That's what I've heard. Not mad at that at all. But that's for another episode. Yeah. So there's a little nugget yeah. for you guys. You can yeah. chew on that thing. But yeah. So, awesome. So thank you everyone for watching. We appreciate all the support. Give us a like on Facebook. Subscribe to us on Twitter. Leave your comments below if you disagree with Dustin because you know he has a very controversial opinion. Give me some and praise. And just praise me for my opinions because they're really <laughs> great. And yeah, we'll see you soon.